What is up, gang? Happy Wednesday. I'm excited to jump on and talk to you guys a little bit about carbohydrates and sugars. What the heck? What's the difference? What should we be focusing on? How can we clear up the confusion between these two nutritional items? If you're watching this on the replay, my name is Amanda Nybert. I'm a registered dietitian with a passion for health and wellness. And my goal is to provide you with relevant nutritional strategies to help you stay on track or get back on track with your weight loss. Now, carbohydrates and sugars, this is a big question that I get from my clients. It's a big question that I get um, from my followers um, with regards to what's the difference? What should I be looking for? What should I be focusing on? And it's a really good question to consider because they're both very important things to look at when you are looking to lose weight and improve your overall health. Um, carbohydrates are basically like the big picture, okay? So whenever we list carbohydrates, we're really talking about starches, fiber, and sugar. So the simple, the simple answer to this question is, is that if you're just kind of getting started and you're looking to you know, really focus on kind of one simple thing, you should definitely focus on carbohydrates first because carbohydrates are gonna take into account your sugar intake, okay? So I always say if you manage your carbohydrates, you are by default managing your sugar intake. Now, as you move forward with your progression to better health and weight loss, um, taking into consideration, you know, that sugar component is really important because sugar creates a lot of inflammation in the body. And you know, I'm all about low inflammation. When we look at the disease processes that most people are dealing with, diabetes, hypertension, autoimmune disease, chronic fatigue, you know, obesity, the underlining cause is inflammation. So some of the, the top inflammatory foods out there are gluten, dairy, soy, corn, and sugar, sugar. So um, if you are looking to elevate your health, it needs to be a consideration that you're making. Now, when we talk about sugar, um, right now, in, in 2008, um, research was done to show that the average American consumes, I've got the numbers here, 60 pounds of sugar a year. That's crazy, 60 pounds of sugar a year. That's about 77 grams of sugar a day. That's a lot of sugar, a way more than what we should be consuming. And it's definitely contributing to our um, decline in overall health is because added sugar. And here's the deal. The reason why we're consuming so much sugar is because we're consuming more processed foods. And processed foods are loaded with added sugar. You wanna know why? Because sugar is um, a drug, okay? Basically, high amounts, it, well, I mean, not even high amounts, but you know, amounts of sugar trigger um, the, um, the, the part of your brain that um, creates pleasure. It, so whenever you eat a lot of sugar, it creates like a lot of dopamine. So it, you feel good, it gives you a lot of pleasure. So you eat it, you feel good, you crave it, you want more. So manufacturers have been spiking our food with sugar without us even knowing about it um, for decades, for decades. But guess what? The good news is, is that the game is over, okay? Um, and with the changes of the, the food label that I think officially go into effect this coming year, like you got it, it's like mandatory now. Um, we're now gonna be able to see the amount of added sugar that, that products are having because it's gonna be listed on the label. Now, the biggest question I get is, is, you know, how many grams of sugar should I be consuming each day? And the recommendation is like less than 10% of your caloric intake, okay? So in general, most people wanna consume, you know, 20 grams of sugar or less. Yes, 20 grams or less the average American is consuming 77 grams of sugar. Now, I'm sure you're sitting out there thinking, well, not me, I don't consume you know, 77 grams of sugar, but it adds up very quickly and you don't even realize it, okay? So for example, I have a, like a, a soft drink here, okay? Um, and, and when we look at the label, this has 39 grams of carbohydrates, okay? Um, and then, 
it's got 39 grams of sugar, okay? And then it says um, added sugar, guess how many grams? 39 grams of added sugar. So this is basically just, you're drinking pure sugar water, pure sugar water, okay? That's all it is. All right, whereas when we look at other carbohydrate sources, so let's say we're looking at even like whole grain bread or we're looking at a, an apple or, or, or a piece of fruit, you know, yes, that's gonna have, it doesn't have any added sugar, okay? So when you look at a piece of fruit, you know, one apple about the size of your fist has about, let's say 15 grams of carbs, um, probably about eight to 10 grams of sugar, no added sugar, because we didn't add any sugar to that apple it is naturally occurring but the kicker is in that scenario it's got fiber it's got vitamins it's got minerals it's got prebiotics it's got probiotics it's got all the good things wrapped up in it so you're not going to get that massive insulin response you're not going to get that massive glucose response when you eat an apple versus when you drink a sugary beverage, okay? Because there's no fiber, there's, there's nothing slowing down the digestion of this sugar. So that's where, you know, incorporating healthy carbs, carbs with lots of fiber in them is a good thing, okay? It really helps to reduce that kind of glucose and insulin response. Whereas when we're just consuming pure sugar, oh, the, the health, you know, effects of that, are significant we know that to be the case um, we now know that heart disease is driven more by sugar than it is by fat okay and more importantly what's even more deadly um, with regards to food intake is what we call sweet fat so you know fat by itself is not too bad okay especially when we're consuming healthy fats like avocados and nuts and seeds and you know organic butter and you know those healthy fats um but when we combine fat with sugar that's when the bomb drops okay that's when things go really awry so um keep that in mind you know kind of as you're thinking about what you should be looking at so let's talk about the food label okay so um i've got a couple of products here that will kind of help us explain this um so when you're looking at the food label hopefully this is not backwards but it probably will be um you'll see that you have total carbohydrates okay and that's in bold and then it lists out you've got your your fiber now this one goes even further and lists out your soluble and insoluble fiber and you've got your sugar okay um so this product probably doesn't have any added sugar in it or it's not label compliant yet um, but again, this is really the total number that means the most, kind of 18 grams. But look for products that are high in fiber and low in sugar when you're looking at total carbohydrates. Now, there's foods out there that look healthy that will get you in trouble, okay? And that's the thing is that, you know, a lot of people will come to me as a, a potential client and say, man, I eat really healthy. Like, I eat clean, I eat organic, you know. Um, but I'm not seeing results. You know, I'm still holding on to this extra weight and, and I've got no energy. And that's because healthy food adds up. And, you know, there is such a thing as like too much fruit. I always say to my clients, I'm like, fruit is God's candy. So it's not an unlimited food. You know, you still have to kind of use that in moderation. So for example, like here's like a, a yummy granola, okay? It's gluten-free, it's sprouted, it's hemp it's it's it just looks like all the goodness you know um but when we turn around on the back and we look at the macros we look at the total carbohydrates you'll see let's see if i can get it to focus here um that it has maybe it'll focus okay well i'll just tell you it's got 26 grams of carbohydrates it's got three grams of fiber it's got seven total sugars but all seven of those are added, okay? So it's got seven grams of added sugar, all right? So you'll see that, if you could see that, because the screen is nice and blurry, um, but it won't, I'm sorry, okay? But anyway, you'll see it says added sugar. So it's like, uh, I hate that. Like they added seven grams of sugar, you know, to, you know, really bump up that kind of sugar response. So you got to really watch out, you know, read your labels. Same thing with like fruit. So I've got some um, dried wild um, blueberries. 
and these these do have added sugar in them um, but for a fourth of a cup it's 33 grams of carbohydrates and 26 grams of sugar okay so you're probably better off um, consuming fresh blueberries than you are kind of these wild dried bl blueberries so think about that dried fruit they tend to add sugar to it um, things like that now I've got look my daughter conned me into buying these like chocolate I blame my my cousin for it because they had it um, but so for these they've got 13 grams of carbohydrates and then one gram of fiber and you can see that it's got six grams of added sugar. Now, the good news is, again, the fact that we are forcing manufacturers to now disclose the amount of added sugar that they are putting in products, this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna use less, okay? Because they know we get it. They know that now we're looking at it and going, oh my gosh, all this is is added sugar. Um, you know, that's why I always say, um, you know, beverages will get you in so much trouble. Like for example, a sweet tea at McDonald's has 75 grams of carbohydrates. You wanna know what? It's like 75 grams of sugar, that's all it is. So think about that as you're moving forward and you're looking at the foods that you're consuming. What's your sugar intake? Are you average? Are you getting 77 grams of sugar a day, which is equal to 13 teaspoons a day? Are you like everybody else? Or are you getting the recommended amount, 20 grams or less? Um, read your labels, look at that, find products that don't have added sugar in them, and recognize that sugar is a drug, okay? Um, the more you eat it, the more your brain wants it, craves it, and, um, you know, and, and need you to eat more. That's why we know that it's a drug even more so because what happens when you cut out sugar? You go through physical withdrawals, <laughs> okay? I call it the carb flu, but maybe I should call it the sugar flu. You know, so it's like when you dial it in and you cut back all that stuff, you feel sick. Your body goes through a physical detox from that sugar. So when we look at the amount of sugar that we're consuming today, based on what we consumed, you know, um, in the 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, it's significantly more and it's really driving our kind of health crisis. So um, I hope that helps you to kind of figure it out, um, you know, with regards to how much sugar should you be eating, aim for 20 grams or less a day or 10% of your total caloric intake. Try to find ways to reduce added sugar. Added sugar is what's gonna get you in the most trouble. Um, and just be aware of your kind of total carbohydrate intake. Um, for me, I think carbohydrate management is probably the most important thing to consider when you're looking to improve your health and improve your weight loss because we know that glucose, insulin, all of those things play a huge role in all of those, you know, kind of underlining health conditions that we're dealing with. So um, calories are not always the big picture carbohydrate control is more the big picture. So I hope you found this um, helpful. If you did, I encourage you to use the share button below and share it with your friends and family. Um, stay tuned, I got a lot of content coming your way. I wanna help you guys manage your health over the next three to four months, because what's coming up? The biggest sugar holiday of the year, Halloween. Um, so we gotta stay on track for that time. All right guys, give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts. I look forward to seeing you later.